Hot up, Sagittarius. Welcome to this new love reading for you for the month of November, going into December, going into after the New Year's love, all the way into the year 2022. Yes, my darling, it is time for those things that are new to come into your life. New lovers, new family, new friends, new everything. Maybe uh, you need to travel out of the city, out of the state, out of the country. I'm saying the same thing to you that I said to Aquarius, love, because I know that my readings have been saying that Sagittarius has been dealing with somebody that's just in and out of your life, love. They come in for a little small period of time, and then they just rush back out and be gone for weeks or even months at a time, love, or you are waiting for somebody who you haven't even been in contact with like that, and, you know, this person just keeps having you wait and wait and wait for them. It's like, it's just something that you're tired of right now, Sag, and it's just time for something new, baby, okay? Now, let's go ahead and uh, get you what I'm going to be using going to be utilizing the light sears love and i'm going to be clarifying them with the roya dark tarot all right now this is for your sun moon rising venus lilith uh sag and i'm the cosmic divine tarot if this reading resonates with you then you be sure to hit that like share subscribe to the channel hit the bell notifier to know when i will be uploading new messages for you okay love let's get this little over so you can see the cards all of them you see them all now? Okay. Let's get into the first row. Sagittarius, looks like uh, you got the world hair from the light seers. That's telling me that you're going to meet this person while you're out traveling. Maybe around your own city or your own state. Or you may go to another state. Or you may go to another country, love, okay? Now, this is somebody who you're meeting in another country. Uh, you know, I can see why that would be very exciting for you, Sagittarius. Meeting somebody new like that from another whole country. Or this could be somebody from another whole country that lives in your city. Okay, they could live in your city and it's like you being out and about with them. The world card here is a Leo, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, as well as a, um, a, a Taurus, love. Now here we got this person right here with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Love. Now see, that's telling me that this person has had one hell of a burden of a relationship that they're just now coming out of, okay? The Ten of Wands is like a whole bunch of fighting. Like it reached the absolute peak, okay? It reached the absolute peak in fighting with the person who they're fighting with. And they just can't fight with this person anymore. They went into the Four of Pentacles, love, just holding back until the relationship is just over. They're just holding back. Now, love, this could be you. This could be you because of the burden that you're dealing with somebody in another city, another state, another country, or in your city that is just making you feel a heavy burden. So now it's time to end that, and you're going to meet somebody else after that cycle is ended. This person is the Knight of Cups, Sag, okay? They're the Knight of Cups. They're going to be bringing you flowers and gifts and whatnot. They're going to be... Uh, very romantic, okay? They're going to be very much into you. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, here we got the oh, two of wands. It's like this person has been watching you for a while, Sagittarius. Two of wands. I think they've been looking at you from where you did not see them, baby. It's like, you know, they're standing there with this long gold sword, which is the long phallus just erected. You know, it's like this person is turned on by you, but you don't even know that they're turned on by you. But you will know, here's the chariot right here, once they get past their fear. It looks like they got some type of fear that needs to bow down to them, Sag. It needs to bow down, the fear, the doubt, the anxiety. All that needs to bow down before this person can go ahead and, and step on the scene in your life, love, okay? Now here we got the moon card here. Sagittarius, this tells me that somebody may be drowning in their emotions or this person is going to step on the scene and cause you to feel like you're drowning in your emotions because the moon card here is somebody very romantic. They're very romantic. They're very caring, very sweet. Okay, and it's like, wow, you don't even know, you know, who this person is. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, okay? We got the whole four of chalices. 
four of chalices. It may be that you don't accept this person's love right out front. That you just go ahead and think that this is too good to be true. It's like the same reading that Aquarius had. But it was talking about somebody else thinking that Aquarius is too good to be true. Now this could be somebody else thinking that you're too good to be true because they're dealing with some type of burden. You know, maybe they dealt with a lot of secrets and a lot of harsh realities in their own life. Here is the uh, King of Pentacles. All right? So it's like this whole thing is going to sneak up on you, baby. Just like the King of Pentacles sneaking up behind this booty butt naked woman right here and giving it to her from the back, okay? So it's like this whole relationship is just going to sneak up on you. You're like, this person, they're going to come up on you. They're going to be, like I said, spending things on you. Buying you all kinds of things, Sag. Buying you all kinds of things. Because it's like, maybe with the Four of Pentacles, they've held back their pentacle long enough from the person who they used to deal with. And now they're going to step on the scene and try to be what you need them to be. You have a, uh, what is it? A triple confirmation of a cancer? It may be a cancer, Sagittarius. Because you got a triple, you got a double confirmation of a, um, of a uh, Pisces and a double confirmation of a uh, Scorpio. Okay? Now, let's see, you have a, uh, could be another Leo, Aries, or Sag stepping on the scene for you. But let's go and see uh, what it was going to be like for a uh, new love to be in your life. Love, we're going to start from the Aries and go all the way to um, Pisces, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to shuffle three times, love. Yeah, now it's just, it's just time for something new, Sag. You just keep going through the same thing with the same person. It's just time for you to deal with something new. You are far too hot, far too sexy to keep dealing with the same old clown. You know, that's a clown you've been, you've been dealing with, or clowns you've been dealing with in the past. Let's go to Aries. What would new love be like with Aries? We got two cards here. Okay, love, I see the four of pentacles look like... Aries is going to be somebody holding back. So it could be that you meet somebody and this person is going to be holding back. And it doesn't matter how sexy and fine you are. Or this could be saying you're going to be holding back, Sag. You're going to be holding back regardless of how fine and sexy this person is. They're going to be walking around wanting you to touch all over their body. Wanting you to squeeze all over their, their nipples and smack all over their booty. But it looks like somebody going to be holding back because they're focused on this whole pentacle. Knight of pentacles. It's like they're going to be moving very slow, Sag. The Aries is going to move very slow. So I don't know if this is that person that you may meet out and about or who's going to be moving towards you, love, okay? Let's go ahead and get to the uh, Taurus. What would new love be like with Taurus? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Do we have one more card? Do we have one more card for Sag? Okay. We have two more cards for Sag, okay? For the Taurus. Let me see, my darling. It looks like we have the three of wands here. The Taurus is somebody who, a new lover who is going to be a true lover. Okay, I can see you have your breasts out. I can see this person got their hands all in the kitty, baby. All in the wand, okay? So it's like this person is going to be somebody who may get you or catch you off guard. They may sneak up behind you and be just kissing all over your body whenever they get up on you. Now this dag on Taurus is also going to be somebody who takes you out on a date, Sag. Okay? They're going to want to take you out with the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to get real swag and you know get want, want you to get GQ'd up okay now here's the moon card here the moon card is telling me that this person may have like a lot of secrets or they may have a lot of romantic feelings for you and you don't even know that either one they're keeping it to themselves love here we got the two of uh, cups here this person is keeping it to themselves that they want to take you out on a date and while you're out on a date take your clothes off up here on this balcony and be giving it to you look like right here Look like right here, the three of uh, wands right here, just just going ahead and giving it to you, okay? Mm. I don't know how clear that camera is is catching the uh, the uh, cards, but it's not my best camera, Sag. Forgive me for using it. Let's go to that. Uh, we're going Gemini. Let's go 
show the Gemini. Then we got the Moon card here. Oh, no, no, no. We got to put that back because those same two cards came out that. Hold on, baby. You can't be dealing with the same type of person that you was dealing with before Gemini. What would that Gemini new love be like for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lily. What would that new love be like for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lily. Okay. We got four cards out here for you. This is the uh, Gemini, right? Okay. This person, hey, they also want to take you out somewhere, get you like a... Uh, on a balcony and just be kissing all over your your shoulders and all over your neck and everything. It's like this person has some some uh feelings for you. Yeah, come and get you with the chariot. They're gonna wanna come and take you out. You got people who wanna come and take you out different places, Sag. Okay, that's what that world card could have been about. People seeing you all over the world wanting to take you out different places. Here's the uh uh the ace of pentacles, yeah. Wine and dine you, baby. Look at this place. You may be dealing with somebody rich. Look at that. You look like a daggone uh, big old house with the overseer and the lake right here. Wow. They may come and get you and take you to their house, this Gemini, who is an emperor as well. Mm. This is a worthy new love. This is a worthy new love. The Gemini is worthy, Sagittarius, okay? Let's go to the Leo. Did I skip Cancer? Let's go to the Cancer. What would the Cancer new love be like for Sagittarius? How about that Cancer? Okay, we got Cancer stepping on the scene with their own energy. The King of Chalices. So the Cancer is going to be somebody who has a lot of emotions and, and feelings for you, but they're not going to want to let on how they feel, okay? Because this person is really a fool for you. They really have a lot of feelings and they, they feel like they will be a fool if they let you know. So it looks like this cancer is going to focus on maybe two lovers or more than one lover, okay? Or focused on being a team player with you. Now here we got the king, the uh, the, uh, the queen of uh, wands here. It's because this cancer sees you as somebody just so sexy. You know, they remember or they or they want to see what your booty looks like without clothes on. Okay? That could be it. They know that you're the queen of wands. They know that you're very powerful, very hot, very sexy. And it's like this person is like really on fire for you or have a lot of emotions. But the cancer just won't let you know that they have these emotions because they're the king of chalices. Okay? So they won't let you know. Let's go to Leo. How about Leo? What does a Leo new love look like for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith? Okay, Leo, new love. Leo, new love. Okay, we got three cards here so far. There we go. Here we got the uh, Divine Will love. And a Leo may be coming up to your house soon. Okay, wherever you live, it looks like a nice, fancy place to a nice, big, fancy place. This person is going to try to bring you some type of justice, this Leo. Okay, because they every single time they close their eyes, all they see is your nipples, your thighs, and whatnot. Okay, that's all they see. It's like this person is kind of sick. They got blue balls, baby. Blue balls. Here we got the doctor right here looking at the blue balls like, man, you need to have sex. You need to have sex or you need to go ahead and ejaculate some type of way. You know what I'm saying? This person only can ejaculate when in your uh, presence is Leo. Okay, so this Leo is going to be somebody who is not going to be able to have sex with all types of people, love. This is going to be a new match for you, a good match for you. They're only going to have uh, sexual desires for you, so you don't have to worry about this Leo cheating. They're going to be so sick if they don't have you close to them or, 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 or having sex with them, love, okay? And let's go ahead and go into that um, Virgo, right? Virgo. What is new love like? What is a Virgo new love like for, uh, for Sagittarius? Virgo. What's your new love going to be like for Sagittarius, okay? We got two cards here. Well, we got the Four of Wands and we got the Knight of Chalices, my darling. This daggone Virgo could be your twin flame. 
This person is going to be coming to you while you're in your house taking a bath or while you're out and about. You could be out and about in a lake somewhere or out in a pool, maybe an outdoor pool. This person is going to be looking at you. You're going to have your bathing suit on or indoor pool because it's cold now, okay? So you're probably in an indoor pool. This person with the night of chalices, they may come, come up to you and just... While you have your bathing suit on, just imagine what the kitty looks like. Imagine what the wand looks like. And imagine pouring all of their love into the wand, into the kitty, okay? So it's like this Virgo is uh, going to be very uh, interested in you. Let's go ahead and switch decks, baby. We switch decks to the uh, Tarot of Sexual Magic going into the... We're going to the Libra now, okay? Let's go and get three shuffles for this, for this one. Now this is a long reading, love. I know it's long. We got 16 minutes already. We're going on 16 minutes. Okay, so we got the second half. All right, Sagittarius, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's get the deck. Let's go. All right. Let's get that whole uh, Libra. Libra. What is new? What is what would new love for Sagittarius be like with the with the Libra? Okay. Love, it looks like, uh, hmm, give me one more card. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my darlings. All right, here we go. Hmm, all the cards turned over, so. We're going to turn them all over and look at them at the same time, baby, okay? Now, here we got the whole queen of chalices, five of chalices, four of swords, okay? So, it looks like. The Libra new love is going to be somebody who brings you so close to them, okay? Want you all on their breast, you know, cuddling you, you know, making you feel like, you know, uh, you're so close to them, you're so taken care of. But then they thing you know, you're going to have to try to convince this person to even give you oral sex, Sag. Okay, it's like the four of... um. The four of swords right here is somebody opening up somebody else's mouth to try to convince them to give them oral sex, baby. Okay, now here we got the whole uh, five of chalices. And then they're going to want you to, what, chase them? Pursue them? Oh, my goodness, my darling, no. <laughs> no, Sag. The Libra is not it, baby. Let's go to that Scorpio. The new love for the Libra is not it. Let's go to the Scorpio. Scorpio for uh, Sagittarius. Well, how would that new love be like with a Scorpio for Sag? For Sag, what that new love be like for a Scorpio with a Scorpio and a Sagittarius, okay? First card I see is the uh, star, my darling. Sagittarius, this person is going to be pouring all kinds of love onto you. This Scorpio, I'm trying to get you a better picture. <laughs> so I'm trying to get you a better picture. Is that over here or over here? I think I could do good with the picture over here, okay? Now, here we go. This person right here sees you as, a, or going to see you as a, a magnificent star. And they're going to want you to pour all kind of love onto them, okay? All kinds of affection. Look, I've got the four of, um, the four of uh, swords and the eight of wands. This is like somebody trying to force somebody's mouth open and here, take what is that they're trying to give them. Sagittarius, this Scorpio, you may have to force them to, to take what it is that you have, love, okay? Whatever it is that you're trying to feed them, whatever beauty that you're trying to give this Scorpio, I'm thinking that maybe you're going to have to force them, love. It's like, you ain't going to want to force this person to give you no oral sex or to anything like that or eat the food that you're trying to cook. The Scorpio? No, baby. That's not a good match. I, I don't know. What's up with that Scorpio? New love, okay? How about that, um... Where we at? We at Scorpio, Sagittarius, right? Let's go to Sagittarius. Saggy on Saggy. New love. Okay, we already got the devil out. Oh, that's not good, baby. This, this is not good. Okay? Love. <laughs> Listen. Okay. We got the ten of wands. We got the devil. And we got the five of pentacles. Love. The deck on um, Sagittarius on Sagittarius could be... Uh, a very strong just sex thing, okay? This new lover is going to be a strong sex thing with the devil here holding the dildo in his hand, okay? The devil holding a dildo in his hand is letting you know that they're trying to tie you to them, utilizing this whole thing, utilizing this 
whole sex magic. Here we got the, the Ten of Wands. It's like you're not going to be able to be anywhere without this Sagittarius, you know, wanting to pull down your panties and get the kitty, the wand, and the booty, baby. Here we got you at the Five of Pentacles. Out and about. This is where it's going to begin, okay? Five of Pentacles. Somebody going to catch you out and about, this Sagittarius. Catch you out and about. Going to be kissing you. Tongue all down your throat, baby. Okay? It's going to be a very highly sexually charged relationship. But, it, but lust is not love. I don't know if this person is going to love you. I don't see any chalices here, love. I just see the pentacle. I see the wand. I see the devil. Okay? Now, it doesn't mean that it can't become love because it's starting out like sex. Okay? Just because it's starting out like sex don't mean it's going to stay like sex. How about that Capricorn? How about the Capi? For Sajay, uh, new love. Sajay, new love. For the Capricorn, okay. The Capricorn got the uh, the nine of chalices. Okay, we got four cards here. The nine of chalices. It looks like somebody is going to make a decision to choose. Either to be with you or to be with somebody else, love, with the lovers here. Looks like they're going to have their their uh, their their selections of who they're going to choose from. They look, at least a, look like up to at least three people, okay? And one of these people are going to find out about the other person, like could be you. This uh this this Capricorn may have a lot of lovers, okay? A lot of lovers. All right, so I don't see the Capricorn as being the uh the one for you. Of course, that siren just had to come close. Here's the uh, the nine of chalices. This Capricorn is going to try to convince you to be one of the lovers that they have, Sagittarius. <laughs> They're going to try to convince you to what be to pour all your love onto them and have your body out, you know, your breasts out and everything out while they are just having access to the kitty and the wand, while they have access to your wand and your kitty. Now I can see that you're not even trying to hear this. You're not even trying, you're not even going to entertain this, this Capricorn and lost their damn mind. Now how about um, Aquarius? New love for Sagittarius. What is the new love for Aquarius will be like for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lily. Love, I said they're going to want to, they're going to want to spoil you. They're going to want to spoil you. They're going to want to feed you all the time, Sag. Probably all types of knowledge, all types of wands and sexuality, okay? They're just going to be feeding you a bunch of things with this Ace of Wands. Their communication, it's going to vary to all types of different things. But actually the Four of Pentacles, somebody may start holding back. And it may be the Aquarius. Because Aquarius is always holding back. <laughs> I mean, Aquarius... Aquarius will hold back, or Aquarius is not always holding back. Let me take that back. Aquarius is probably going to hold back on you first and then be the fool. Come out after you. Come out jumping out after you like they want you in their life, okay? They're not going to let anybody else have you. So, and maybe they may hold back their communication with you, Sag, and then after a whole bunch of communication with you, start holding back and then take the leap towards you. Okay, take the leap towards you. How about Pisces? What will Pisces new love be like for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay, we got five cards out here for Pisces. <laughs> hey, darling. Here we got the Three of Chalices. Oh, it's going to be one hell of a sexual experience going to have off all your clothes up for them stockings baby look like this person is going to be all up in the kitty all over the breast kissing on your neck and everything this pisces is going to be probably hitting it from the back yikes here we go we got the uh the hermit here the pisces has been cheated on by another person who put them in the hermit mode that you know they felt heartbroken by they they was very hurt by this person. Okay, person five of chalices. They tried to give them their love, but but they didn't take Pisces love. They didn't want Pisces love, okay? Uh, instead, they wanted somebody else's love with the three of swords. And Pisces look like this Pisces may have caught this person cheating, okay? So it's like, whoa, they, they caught their lover cheating. Yeah, five of wands with somebody else. They caught them cheating with somebody else. So it's like this Pisces... 
is going to be hurt when they step on the scene. And they're going to want to just express all that hurt by making love to you. Okay, but having all kind of sex, you ain't got, you got on booty butt naked, baby. They booty bald naked. You know what I'm saying, Pisces? It's not going to be somebody playing around with you. They're going to be somebody who really wants uh, a relationship. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the crystal spirits because you're going to need a certain type of crystal when you come upon these new lovers so that you can differentiate between which one of them are going to be good and which one of them are going to be bad for you. And I forgot to shuffle these. So I'm going to shuffle them at least three times. All right. I forgot to pull these cards out, love. I know that you're ready for the reading to be over. We have uh, 25 minutes right now. Okay. Just get you some crystals, Sag. Cut the deck. All right, let's get it, baby. Sag, what crystals do we have for Sagittarius? When Sagittarius come in contact with these people, okay? Any more? Okay. Okay, you got the uh, the Malachite and the Carnelian. Okay, the Malachite is definitely something that you can. Uh, you know what I'm saying, have under some type of protection. You're going to have to learn some type of knowledge, a lot of knowledge about these people. So it's best for you to have this crystal because it's going to teach you to be silent and just listen to what these people have to say, Sag, because they're going to tell you a lot of things. If you're just quiet and you're listening to them, then you can make a choice on which one of these people you want to have in your life. Now, here's the Cornelian, okay? The Cornelian, okay? Uh, this looks like a very... A uh, passionate red crystal. Okay, it looks like something that you can use as some type of um, a crystal that you can use to have some type of passion for when you find the one because you have been waiting a long time to find the one. So it could be that you may have lost some type of passion and now it's time for you to regain that passion back because this person that you're dealing with may have just turned you off from being in and out of your life or not being in your life the way you want them to be sad. So it's like the Cornelian is going to like recharge your 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 passion because you're a fire sign you need your fire you know raging you hate your fire has to be raging it can't be no little small little candlelight baby you need a raging fire okay and that's what you want to feel in a relationship you want to feel that so this Malachite is going to protect you from giving over too much of yourself at first okay and then this carnelian is going to uh, you know, bring back that passion for the right one, okay, for the right one. So when you meet these people, love, who, you know, you may see when you're traveling, you know what I'm saying? When you meet these people who are going to come in and bring you all types of flowers and whatnot, you just feel like you met the one. Love, don't forget to get these crystals so that you can differentiate and stand still and let them prove to you that they are the one, okay? Now, my darling, that has been your reading. And I'm going to end it there, then. <laughs> if you need a personal reading, Sagittarius, don't forget all of that information is at the bottom of the, um, at the bottom of the, uh, the video, as well as if you want to donate to my channel. That's in the bottom of the video, too. Okay, love? All right, my darling. Well, that's it. I gotta go, Sag. I gotta go. Just be careful when choosing a new lover, okay? Love you. Peace, love, and light.